Thank you, Mike. Now, I'd like to invite Mark up here to present a special award. Before I do that, I just wanna once again thank Mike Stern for his service, uh, as, not only as president, but also as uh, past president now. And it's great to see the rose on you. He's joined a pretty good group here, so. So each year the AGC gives out a special community service award and it's given to a distinguished individual who has unselfishly furthered the interests of our community. So many of the award recipients over the years have been unique and outstanding individuals who connected the fabric of industry with the requirement of our social, charitable, and civic duties. It has been said and will continue to be said for many years to come that tonight's award winner embodied that and then some. His list of accomplishments and investment of time and service of others makes one wonder how he did it. I think if he were here with us tonight though, and maybe he is in some way, uh, that he would reflect that his deep faith energized him and led him and gave him the strength and compassion to give and give deeply. Most importantly tonight, I want to say thanks again to his family. Um, we know where his real priorities lie. I know he loved the industry, but I'm quite sure in the pecking order of things, there's, there's a certain order that you have to respect. And we want to say thank you for being part of uh, this event this evening. And more importantly, um, you'll be a part of this event forever, um, as long as there's an AGC in Greater Milwaukee, because at our previous uh, board of directors meeting, we've decided that we would name this special community service award after Kevin O'Toole in recognition of his long standing and deep commitment, not only to the AGC, but really of all the values that we aspire to as an industry and as people. After all, we are regular people. We want to make it home every night. We want to be healthy. Uh, Kevin understood all that and, and really has led the way. And so I know we've, we've celebrated Kevin many times in this past year and mourned him, but tonight uh, on behalf of the Board of Directors, it's my pleasure to rename the Special Community Service and Leadership Award after Kevin. And at this time, we'd like to award that to Kevin and put his name on that this year. And I'd like to invite the Hunziger family to come up and receive the award on his behalf. All right, well, thank you. Um, it's such an honor for me to uh, accept this award on behalf of my father, Kevin O'Toole. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Ryan O'Toole, Vice President of Funding Air Construction, and on behalf of my family, our company, and all of the organizations and all of the boards that Kevin served over the years, I want to thank Mark, Kim, Henry, everyone at the AGC for making this special award. Um, I'd like to go back to April 19th, 2019, when many of us were together at a venue just across the parking lot. And revisit the words that my dad shared with us all while being honored as the icon of construction. While battling pancreatic cancer, he encouraged all of us to do three things, all of which I think embody what this award is all about. First of which was to never stop learning. Second, to get involved in the industry and be the change. And third was to do the right thing. Uh, my dad was a teacher a mentor, a leader, and at the end of his life, a fighter. He gave everything he had in the, to every organization that he was a part of, and he embodied the heart and soul of each and every one of them. Besides being a husband, a father, and a grandfather, he took the most pride in teaching and mentoring people, all to provide a better future for each and every person that he was serving. Whether that was for our family, our company, an organization, or a board that he was involved with, or our industry. One of his favorite lines from John Lennon was, 
Life is what happens to you while you're busy making other plans. I think that you will all agree that he achieved a lot in his life and that he left an indelible mark on so many people. Last Monday would have been his 68th birthday and Musicians on Call, an organization that he started serving as a board member in 2013, made a tribute video for our family. Musicians on Call has brought the healing power of music to more than one million patients' bedsides in 25 cities. And the co-founder, Michael Solomon, had this to say about him. I just wish that the world had more people in it like Kevin. I might be biased, but I agree with Michael. Thank you. Thank you.